Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to thank you and the Deputy Mayor for your leadership throughout this process. Uh, I want to thank the senior management team for all their hard work. I just take a quick moment to recognize um, the hard work and dedication of my staff in the budget office, um, beginning with Deputy, D Deputy Director Suzanne Warren, Sarah Boyce, Matt Cahill, Charlotte Davenport, Joe Mastico, Sarah Rockberg, and Joseph Estesdale. As the mayor mentioned, the proposed 1920 budget totals $552,047,000, 1.8% higher than the current year budget, and again in line with the rate of inflation. We closed our $38.7 million gap and enabled $4.6 million in strategic investments through a combination of expense reductions and revenue increases as follows. Uh, adjustments to planned capital spending, about $9.7 million. Lower than, protect, lower than projected pension and retired medical expenses, about 3.3 million. Adjustments to debt service expense, 2.1 million. And departmental reductions in efficiencies of about 1.2 million. On the revenue side, uh, we're using an additional $7.9 million in general fund balance than we expected to. Uh, recognizing increased sales tax revenue of about $5.3 million from our plan. Uh, sales taxes continue to perform strong for us. Additional use of enterprise fund balance to support capital expenditures of about 3.3 million. We're using more premium and interest to pay debt service of about 2.3 million. Uh, we're realizing additional revenue from the sale and rental of real property, about 1.8 million. Uh, we're benefiting from surplus in our health care rate stabilization fund, performance of our health care plan from last calendar year. So we bring 1.5 million dollars into the budget. Uh, Revenue generated from parking and other <coughs> increases of about $900,000. Additional revenues from mortgage taxes and gross receipts taxes of about $800,000. The housing market has been strong, so we're benefiting from that. Uh, and other revenues totaled totally about $3.2 million, including uh, additional revenues from the Blue Cross Arena at Royal Memorial, pursuant to our new management agreement, delinquent tax collections, uh, the use of cemetery professional care fund to help pay capital expenses a transfer from refunds and overpayments and revenue from the new parking meters that should be in uh, by the end of this fiscal year. This budget assumes the use of about $14.6 million in general fund balance to balance the, <coughs> balance the budget. We had a general fund balance of $91.3 million at the end of fiscal 18. Uh, we used about $16.8 million to close the current year gap. And we expect to be able to replenish most, if not all of that, when we close this year. So our free of fund balance to close the 20 budget keeps us well above our prescribed minimum of about $60 million in fund balance. The year over year <coughs> budget is up 18 full-time positions, as the mayor mentioned. These are partially funded by the elimination of part-time positions. By doing this, we allow payment of a living wage and addressing succession planning needs in the city. Among the positions added are two full-time librarians at Lincoln and Maplewood branches and a position in the community, uh, Office of Community Development. And there are up to three potential full-time layoffs, though we are still working for spots, uh, trying to find spots for those employees. As the mayor mentioned, this budget leaves the property tax flat. There is no increase to refuse fees and slight increases in local works and water meter charges. So what all that means is the typical homeowner we'll see an increase of about $49.56. $40.66 of that increase is attributable to the state mandated tax share. So water charges add $4.26, and local works charges add $4.64 to the end of the day. This also results in an overall decrease of $450.34 to the average business due to a combination of the tax shift, the local works fee increase, uh, and overall increase in assessed value. So City Council will conduct hearings on the budget June 5th, 10th, and 12th, and vote on the budget June 18th. So with that, I'll turn it back over to the mayor. 